Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY, I would like to share with you how I created a double-sided Hello Kitty entryway or side table can be used as both for one of my clients that's renovating her daughter's room. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. I'll be starting off with strong foam board. I needed a 20 inch circle, so I'll be using this wooden board to get my circle. And here I'm just creating the Hello Kitty head. Next, I'll be using this piece of foam board to make a stencil. And I needed a six inch circle, so I'll be using this embroidery hoop to trace my circle. I'll be creating the Hello Kitty ears. To get my pointy ears, I'll be using this eight inch embroidery hoop and I'll be tracing it from the inside. Once I was done with my stencil, I'll be cutting it out and I'll be using the same ear for the left and right ear. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, link below. Next, I'll take the stencil and I'll place it on top of the trace head and then I'll place my markings on how far I'm gonna trace both ears. And I'll repeat the same steps on the right hand side. Hello Kitty does not have a full round head, so I'll be taking my long ruler and draw a straight line and then I'll take my embroidery hoop to round off the corners and this will create Hello Kitty chubby cheeks. Once I was done, I'll use my X-Acto knife to cut it out. Because this is a double face table, I cut two, one for the front and one for the back side. Next, I'll be using white glossy contact paper and I'll be covering just one side on both cutouts. For my first Hello Kitty face, I'll be starting off with self-adhesive acrylic mirror sheets and these come with a protective film that I'll be leaving on to prevent fingerprints. Next, I'll take them and I'll start cutting them into pieces to create a mosaic style. Once I was done cutting all my pieces, I'll start peeling the back side and applying them starting from the ears in no particular order. As I apply them, I'll be leaving a half inch space around the edges. Before I cover the center, I'll be using this black glitter contact paper to create my eyes and I'll be starting off with this ruler and I'll be tracing two lines, two inches Hello Kitty eyes are not fully round, so that's why I made them into a square shape. Once I'll cut them, I'll be rounding off the edges. I'll be using my long ruler to make sure that the eyes are evenly placed. To create the nose using the same steps, I use gold mirror contact paper and then I continue filling up the face. I'll be covering up the edges with mirror mosaic tiles.
For the second Hello Kitty face, I'll be starting off with black glitter, a sponge brush, and white school glue. Next, I'll take my sponge brush and I'll start applying the school glue around the edges a half inch in, and then I'll sprinkle it with black glitter as I go. This will create the black outline that you see in the photo. Next, I'll start saturating the entire head with white school glue, beginning with the ears. And as we could see, I already placed the eyes and the nose in place. Once I was done, I'll apply clear crushed glass. And for extra shimmering, I apply iridescent glitter. I'll be repeating the same steps on the entire head. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll be working on the tabletop and base, and I'll start off with two poster boxes that I'll be cutting to equal with the white one, and then I'll glue them both together. Next, I'll be using this glossy pink contact paper and I'll be covering the top and bottom part of the base only on one side and the sides. On the opposite side, I'll use acrylic mirror sheets. Because it is a double sided table, I wanted each side to have their own looks. Around the open sides, I'll be covering it with mirror mosaic tiles. Next, I'll apply a generous amount of hot glue in the center and I'll glue on my first head with the mosaic style. I'll be repeating the same steps with the crushed glass head on the opposite side, making sure that both heads are evenly placed. I also apply mosaic stickers in the center and at the top part of the base. On the crushed glass side, I'll be using pink diamond wrap and I'll be repeating the same steps as I did with the mosaic side, only on the base. I took foam board and cut it to size and then I covered them both with glossy pink contact paper. I'll be applying two strips of metallic silver washi tape on both of them.
Next, I'll take my ruler and my X-Acto knife and I'll be cutting grooves a half inch apart, making sure that I do not cut in too deep or it will split the board. I repeated the same steps on both and it made it very flexible and easy to use. Once I was done, I started gluing it around the head of the base. Unfortunately, I lost the rest of the footage of me gluing them on. So this is the only clips that I have to share with you. Next, I'll be using a cardboard box that I cut to size and I also use foam board and I cut it to size as well. And then I'll be gluing them both together. I repeated the same steps on another one for the bottom base cut to size. I drew a line in the center to have equal size and I'll be covering one side with mirror reflection paper and the opposite side with glossy pink contact paper and I also covered the sides as well and I repeated the same steps on both. On the table top I cover the opposite side with the pink glossy contact paper. Next, I'll be working on the bowl for the head and I need a two six inch circle. So I'll be using these two pipe connectors to get my circles. Next, I'll be using my ruler and pen to connect both together to create two pyramid shapes. The sizes and shapes I'll need to create my bowl. Next, I took all my pieces and covered them with fuchsia pink contact paper. Next, I'll start gluing all my pieces together, starting with the larger piece in the bottom and then with the circle on top. I made two, one for each head. To create the whiskers, I used black diamond wrap and I cut them into double strips. Once I had them in the right position, I glued them in place and then I cut the rest. I repeated the same steps on the opposite side. I also repeated the same steps on the second face using mirror mosaic tiles. Next, I'll be using a generous amount of hot glue and I'll be gluing on the bowl and I'll repeat the same steps on the second head. Next, I'll take the center base and place it on the bottom base and then I'll mark my placement and apply a generous amount of hot glue and glue both pieces together and I'll repeat the same steps with the table top. For a better hold, I screw in two inch screws. The pink side, I apply mirror mosaic tiles on the top and bottom corners and on the mirror side, I apply mirror mosaic tiles around the edges. I really do love the way this table turned out and the best thing about it is that it can be used for kids or adults, depending on the mood and you can switch the sides. One side is glittery crush glass and the other side is mosaic. There are many adults out there that love these characters. For example, I love Jack Skeleton from Nightmare Before Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Hello Kitty DIY as much as I enjoyed creating it. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.